Hello! In this video, I'm going to show you the Armatron Pro Sport Water Resistant Watch. And this is a really nice watch. I have it here to show you how it came packaged. Um, so let me just take it out so I can show it to you as well as the features. So it has a really nice buckle. It feels very sturdy. You see it there. And it has like a, a kind of rubber type watch band, which I really like because it's water resistant and I do intend to wear this in the water. And these types of bands last a really long time in the water. Plus they're nice and flexible and soft, so they feel really good too. And also I, I like the size of the face. You see like you can really see the numbers well. And I like that that they're not really tiny. And then it also gives you the date, which is nice as well. So let me put it on so you can see how it looks and how easy it is to buckle. So you just pull it up, pick which hole, and notice the number of holes too, which is also nice. So it, it can go probably small enough to fit a child and also large enough if you have a very large bone structure and you have a large wrist, you see you have a lot of room here. So I like that, as well as the little slip cuff that goes over it to stop it from coming unbuckled or something. So let me just show you back again to where it fits me. There we go. And then you just slip it into the little holder. And that stays nice and firm. And it fits, it's got like a natural curve to it. So it's really a comfortable watch. And another thing I like about it, the face is kind of like an elongated, uh, which is nice because I, I wear this watch when I surf. So I will be um, pushing on my board like this and it doesn't cramp that part of my hand at all or my wrist movement. So it's really good. All right, I'm gonna take it off again so I can show you some of the features. One of the things that makes this watch really good because it is a water resistant watch, which means a lot of times we might be using it for some type of exercise, right? So it has a stopwatch also. And if you push the buttons here, you can see like, okay, so here's a feature. This is military time or some people call it 24 hour time. So if you prefer that, you can have it here on that time. I'm gonna go back to regular time. You push B, so the buttons are A, B, C, D, right? So A, B, there, C, D, here. So it's a little bit funny because it's counterclockwise, right? It's a watch, you expect it to be clockwise, but it's not A, B, C, D, which kind of helps you with your settings so that you know, you know, it's opposite of the clock. So B will get you into different modes. So here's an alarm, you can set an alarm. There's a stopwatch, so that's really useful if you're using this for any type of, like say you wanna know how fast can you swim a lap, or if you're running, or whatever it is you wanna time, you can time it with your stopwatch, so that's really cool. And then we also have time zone two, okay? So my time zone one and two are pretty close together right now because I first set this one thinking it was the first time zone. But this is nice because if you have family or maybe you're traveling and you wanna keep track of time in another time zone, you can put it on T2. I haven't seen that feature very frequently in watches, so that's kind of a cool feature. Now let's go back. Here we are back in our regular mode, which shows our day, our date, our time, and the seconds. So really awesome watch. And let me just show you this too, because it comes with all these instructions that tell you kind of clearly, and see here it shows the, the key for the buttons, and it tells you how to do different things. You can set your alarm, uh, set your time and calendar, activate your alarm and your hourly chime, or you can deactivate the hourly chime. I deactivated it because there's nothing like sitting in a quiet room or a movie theater and having your watch beep every hour, right? That's kind of annoying. So you can activate it if that's what you want or deactivate it. Uh, you can do your split time between your different time zones. And one thing to note about this is it's a little bit funny with the numbering because you see this starts with six. And first I was looking here like, why does it start with six? And then I realized it, it reads this way. Okay, so be aware of that. But it gives you all the instructions that you need to do everything that this watch will do. So if you're looking for a nice watch to wear, um, one thing I like about this, it's thin, it looks nice, it's got a good feel to it, it's not heavy, also not too lightweight, so I mean, it's just perfect. If you're looking for a good watch to wear for being in the water or any type of sport, um, even just for casual wear, I think that the Armatron Pro Sport is an excellent choice. Thank you for watching this video and good luck.